Right, Just a little bit. I mean, woo, doggy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, do don't me? put it so close to your face. Me? Who yeah, me? No, I do need no a haircut. Him. That sounds better. Yeah, that sounds better. All right, but don't I, be like this. How does this sound? My fault, baby. That's how you spit on that. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> <laughs> I can like some right here. Yo, now. Eddie, Eddie. He's Eddie. Your Eddie, eyes Eddie. actually beautiful, fool. Appreciate it, baby. Appreciate it. Holy shit. Have y'all, y'all seen his eyes? Uh huh. You're handsome. Appreciate Damn. it, baby. Welcome to Down by Zero, you know what I'm saying? We got another episode, we got, we here with my boys, Lil Ed. What's good, what's good, y'all? Lil E. Yo. And we got P all the way in the corner. Hello. We got Mr. He Lil, he Lil <laughs> Mad today. But bit. it's cool, we back with another episode, let's cheer him up. Um, We got another basketball episode, we here to talk about the stupid ass Celtics. Whoa. Fold in game seven. Uh, We're very mad. Jerry's trying to hide his face. Well, no, it's because I don't got a haircut, and it's always Jad. shysty. Jad, he needs you. Shout out, Jad. Can we not use the Jason Tatum sprained ankle 30 seconds into the game as an excuse? Two is years it? in a row? Yeah. It's what do you mean two years in a row? An injury isn't the, the excuse. Well, no, I didn't, I didn't have an injury for him last year. JT thought, played hurt against the Warriors in the final. I mean, I think he did say something, but, I mean, His obviously injuries. it didn't affect him because he still played, like, and he, you could never tell he was yeah. hurt. This game. This game, you can tell. But he this, game, shell, yeah. this, so. this game, you could actually, like, well, that shit was terrible. Yeah. It's a tough pill to swallow, but it just happens. But the Heat did, they were running y'all, bro. I mean, I wouldn't, JT still put up relatively good numbers. I think what hurt y'all was Jalen Brown. The turnovers, the not making enough three-pointers, the bad field goal percentages, and the quick Ugh. shots. Uh, quick into the eight quick turnovers. Into the he had eight or nine turnovers. Ooh. Man, he just showed what I what I've been saying. He's not a number one. I've been saying that. And I guess with JT being hurt, that he had had the ball in his hands a lot more. But at the same time, on our defense, it was basically four on five because JT couldn't do nothing. Oh, on defense? Yeah, on defense because he yeah. couldn't guard nobody. He was he couldn't move. And then on offense, he couldn't do nothing either. He was he couldn't get down. He was literally just catch and shoot, and they were stopping that. So yeah, he was literally just a cone out there, like. It's just crazy how it happened the very first play of the game. Like, literally, literally. Crazy-ass series coming back from 3-0 to force it, even force a game seven. But game seven was kind of a wet fart. Yeah, Gertie. What do y'all do with Jalen Brown this summer? Um, I think the only trade, like I said, I would take for him is Damian Lillard. I don't think there's another player in the league that I would. Why are you making that E? You got to think of it from the Trailblazers' perspective. Why would they want to? They're in a rebuild. Why would they not take a young twenty-five number year old two from, who can and then you know build around that? We're gonna have to get want to build around Dame. We're though. gonna have to. He's, Dame, but he's Dame older. Doesn't want, Dame doesn't want to be part of a rebuild. He's already said it. He's thirty-two. But he's sitting there scouting prospects with who wants to go to Portland right now? Who's gonna go to Portland right now to play with Anthony Simmons? They were they're relying on a third, the third because they had the third pick, right? Yeah. Yeah. They they're, they're relying on that. That's basically a rebuild. They're, they're waiting on these young players to, you know. They can trade that too, though, but not. I, I think they would trade the third for Jalen Brown before they would trade Dame hmm. for Jalen Brown. I think I, if we offered the right package like Jalen Brown, Grant Williams, a first round pick, well, a couple picks, and maybe another player like Peyton Pritchard for Dame, I think they would take that. That's a lot. That's a second, you know, second team all player, NBA, and Jalen Brown, who's 25. Two whatever first round picks for the future. We've seen Grant Williams is a great role player. They have Anthony Simons. That's a great way to start your rebuild. Let's try to look at it from a Celtics perspective. We're, we're the only team in the NBA that could give them a supermax contract. Like I think it's two hundred and ninety five million. The closest another team can pay is two hundred, two hundred thirty million. I just if I was Jalen Brown, I'd I'd want to stay, but. Yeah. As the Celtics franchise and Brad Stevens play a player that's averaged hella turnovers in important games. Bro, I just yeah. don't, bro. He wants to be a number one, bro, and he's not a number one. He's not him. <laughs> he, oh no, okay, no, he's him. He is. He's just he's, not a number one. There's certain him. things you have to be able to do to be a number one. Like, and he, there's th- some of those things he's not able to do at a high level. Like, he's a, he's a amazing scorer. He can score the fuck out the ball. At a high level, but that does not just make you a number one because you can only score the ball. 
You have to do everything else. That's the, that's what I've been saying about him and Jason Tatum. When Jason Tatum is having a bad game, he still does everything else. He play makes, he rebounds, he plays defense, he does all the other things. That's what makes him a number yes. one. I think the only the, the our biggest thing this offseason will be what are we gonna do with Jalen Brown? Yeah, I agree. I think if y'all have the opportunity to get Dame, y'all do it because y'all also I think need like a point guard. Like Marcus is good. He's he can great. play point guard, but like yeah. y'all need like a point guard. He's Mar- like Marcus. I think is better sh- uh, suited at shooting guard. He, I think Marcus loves being a point guard of this team. I mean, he's he's shown it and he stepped up when we didn't have a point guard. Marcus Marcus averaged six, seven plus assists a game. That's good, but yeah, but I see what you mean having it more dynamic. I, but yeah, yeah, just imagine that, and I think like Ed said, like it's more dynamic with Dame. We are and are our Celtics fans. But, you know, it's a tough season. We try to make history, but we came up a little short. Respect to the Celtics, but even more respect to the – can we talk about Miami a little bit? Miami Heat, eight seed in the finals. Yeah. I think that's the only couple times it's happened before. Monty Williams and Pistons have agreed to a six-year, $78.5 million contract for him to I, become Detroit's new head coach. I think it's similar to when he got hired as a son. It's a very young core. That shit's crazy. I, I think he does I, good with young players. I don't like it. Monty's a you good You don't? Coach. For six years, bro. I mean, you they, they could fire him if it's not nothing good. Coaches have had those kind of contracts before. Ethan's not a Laker fan. He is a Laker fan. I we know deep franchise. down he's a Laker fan. Appreciate the franchise. Um, <laughs> w- what do you think the Lakers do this offseason? They s- try to sign and trade D'Lo is at the top of their list. They were going to keep him until this last series. Yeah. But I think they're going to try to sign and trade him. I heard rumors today of Fred Van Vliet. Uh, they wanted Kyrie, but that's not going to happen. Uh, I think they're just going to search for sign and trades for D'Lo. Yeah, because the Mavs don't want D'Lo. And then they're going to bring back uh, Austin Reeves and, and Rui. But I don't – I think I think Rui – I think I think Rui they'll bring back. I don't think they'll be able to bring back Austin Reeves. I think he's too expensive. They yeah. said they're gonna match mm-hmm. any contract. They have the bird rights, so they can go over the cap. I thought they mm-hmm. oh they can? Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought they, they said they were only gonna give him like no like fifty mil at most. That was in, yeah, until Cause it, he I think a playoffs. team I think a team a young team will give him like close to a max. Rockets. Probably not oh, a max, yeah. but close to a max. The Lakers will match it if it's something crazy. Yeah. They can. I mean, why not? Five if year, one hundred and ten uh, million. I don't, I don't they can know. go over the cap with it, and they love them. I don't why know. Not? I don't know, bro. I'm sure LeBron wants him back. He yeah. was their third best player at times. Yeah, in the clutch. I'd say second best player at I, times. I don't know if I give him that much money, bro. It's not that he's not a good player, but Contra that's a ball, that, eh? that's a lot. That's a lot of fucking money to give someone yeah. who's like a lot but of clams. You kind of have to do it. Who's not a superstar? That's, I mean, that's superstar money, bro. Well, the cap is going to go up every year, and people are going to get paid more. Every yeah. Year. So eventually, it won't be a lot as long as it's not a max. I feel. And like. then you have LeBron. Like you can't let your third best player go. I am tired of hearing you have LeBron. LeBron cannot be the Lakers' best player no more. That shit is done. Y'all seen how dead he was? Like. Well, what else are they going to do? A well, what you, AD. Has it's stay supposed healthy, to. Yeah, it's, it's supposed time. to be AD. What yeah. the fuck is AD doing? And then LeBron just rides in the little LeBron, in the little carriage next to him. <laughs> Le, Le, <laughs> that, that, that don't work. Little cars. No, not in his, not, no, no, I'm not saying LeBron has to ride in look, but LeBron is not supposed to be like the last game, game four against Denver. LeBron was doing everything. What he had like thirty in the first half. Yeah, and he ended with what forty nine and great AD. Oh, AD. But what AD. Could, like, what what would be the perfect player for them to Kyrie. get? Kyrie. Oh, They're Kyrie. not Kyrie. No, Kyrie would Kyrie legit. Kyrie for, for AD? No, nah, I wouldn't want that. I would. At you all. wouldn't want hey, that as a Mavs fan? Man. No, what? AD. What? is cooking. AD, oh. AD, oh, AD would be like P. freaking Poisingas. Hell no. Nah. Fuck. He's better than Poisingas, but he would play like just the amount of games, and that's what's wrong with Poisingas. Like, you're, you're we tripping. could never keep him on the court. That's why we traded him. You're tripping, bro. My dad's a Miami Heat fan, and he asked me today, he was like, do you think we could beat Denver? And I was like, y'all play hard. Y'all play really good defense. Y'all very poised, and you know y'all all y'all are confident right now. Like y'all on a stretch that's like, you know, y'all feel like y'all can beat anybody. Yeah. And he was like, all we have to do is stop the big man, Jokic. And I was like, no, 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 no. no. Jokic is gonna get hit. You don't stop him. You have to stop everybody else. That, yeah. That's how you're gonna win this series. And if you if you stop everybody else, Jamal Murray, KCP, um, uh, what's his name, uh, Aaron, Aaron Gordon, Gordon. You stop the other players. That's how y'all win the series because Jokic is going to get his numbers. Yeah. 
He's gonna get his triple doubles. And know? I have a coworker at work. Shout out Tom. He's a Heat fan, but he uh he doesn't really watch much basketball. And he's like, yeah, I've never seen Jokic play. I'm like, you're in for a treat. Yeah, oh, my, my yeah. dad said the same thing. He was like, yeah. he never seen Jokic play. He was yeah. like, he was asking me, he was like, is he good? And I was like, good. He's insane. I was like, we've never seen anything like him. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Waddling up and down. Sir, yeah. sir, can you please get off your phone? Maybe. We <laughs> get on our phone every now and then. He's again. texting his, his baby. My lady. Um, Ethan's taken. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> I got Denver in six. I say five. Man, again, nobody can guard Jokic. You can have. That's, I think Jokic is going to absolutely tear it up this series. Tear it up. Tear I don't know. Bad yeah. It's a bad Whoa. matchup for Miami. That's why I think they're going to win. I think. I think because how good of a coach Spolster is. You didn't hear that. I think game one. What was it? I think game one. Um, Jokic will go off, but I think Spolsters will make adjustments and he'll, you know, he'll make it a little harder. Who's the uh, Denver coach? M- Malone, mm-hmm. Coach Malone, Mike Malone. He's a good the coach. He's a good coach. Yeah, he is. He's a really good coach. They probably he, balance each other out then. Well, no, he, I think Spolstra is still a better coach. Yeah, than and then I like how my, he in his press conferences, Mike Malone knows how to like get his team going. Yeah, he's like, always yelling at them in the huddles yeah, and shit like that. that. And like he's like, well, we've been like, remember he was talking about the Lakers. He's like, well, it was the Nuggets didn't win the game. It was the Lakers found something out. Or whatever, whatever, and that really will like. Oh yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, stick enough for your yeah, team, yeah, yeah. like, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. He knows how to like He's motivate, good, good motivate. General. Yeah, and he doesn't let them get comfortable, bro. Like there was times where in, they're in a the game, they're up like 15, and the game's looking over, and the team makes a run, and he calls timeout. And he's still chopping down their shit. That's the type of coach you want. That means he has control of that locker room. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a great series, man. The confidence is crazy, Ain't, but that's half the battle, right? Having yeah, the confidence, it really is. yeah, yeah, confidence yeah. To, I agree. To go out there, especially when you a dog, undrafted, half of them, you got Jimmy Butler, his swag. That Miami team, he is floating in space. <laughs> Another universe. Yeah, nah, they're they're hitting on all cylinders. Wait, so we all got Denver? Oh, yeah. you said Miami? Yeah. I think Miami. Well, yeah. I think it's a toss up, but I think it goes to game. Either seven. way, Jimmy Butler is going to get his first title, or Jokic is getting his first title. Which I is think ex- that's great. Which yeah. is exciting. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. We have another new segment. We are doing probably seen on TikTok with many different things: overrated, properly rated, or underrated. I'm gonna give y'all three a NBA player's name, and we're gonna say are they properly rated, overrated, or underrated. First one up. Great segue, Nikola Jokic. You want to go first, Jr. Underrated. He should have been MVP. He's, a, I think, in my opinion, he's the best player in the world. I agree. I think he's properly rated. Uh, two-time MVP. I think he's gotten a lot of flowers, and I, I think he's exactly where I think he's top five M- NBA player in the NBA. I, I would say underrated. I agree. Okay. He went under the radar. I feel like towards the end of the year, really the whole year. Um, then he's killing it in the playoffs. People yeah. didn't see until like. A seven-game streak where he has like thirty-point triple doubles, like in almost every game. Yeah, yeah. He just he slept yeah. on, I think. All right, so next one, another international player, Luka Doncic. We are gonna start with Jr. I think he's overrated. It's not that he's not a great player. He's a great player. He puts up a lot of numbers, but he can't win, and he can't, you know, all he can't win. Like, and he can't. I don't think uh, we have yet to see him play with another star. That and do play good off that star. That's we'll a good see. Point. Ed. Okay. Overrated? Yeah, a little overrated, yeah. I yeah. think Luka Doncic is properly rated. I feel like. I agree. I, I feel agree. like he is the poster boy of the NBA. Yeah, so I think he's properly rated. I'd agree. Properly rated. All right. Next up, I know what, exactly what Jared's going to say. We got Devin Booker. What is he rated right now? So we're saying he's not top 10 and he's underrated. I knew it. Cause D book. Well, no, I said I said properly. I would say properly rated at first, but then y'all say he's not even top ten, so he's underrated. So I would say properly rated. Then I guess I say yeah. I say underrated. And then his playoffs numbers rocketed, it, rocketed. It. I think he's properly rated too. I'm with you, P. All right, next one. This one's kind of interesting. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi. And we're still riding on the coattail of him. Leonard. With the Raptors. Yeah, I think that's that. That's a 
I think, dead horse. I think bro. right now, bro, I think he's overrated. Yeah, I agree. I think yep. he's falling okay. off. Yeah. I can see that. I but the thing that. is, he just needs to get healthy because people still have him in top ten, bro. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's top ten anymore. Yeah, he doesn't play enough. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Me and Ethan know as a Mavericks fan how good he can be in the playoffs because he single handedly knocked us out. Last one, the claw, Jalen Brown. <sighs> <laughs> it just depends on where Too soon. It just depends on where we're rating him at, bro. I'd say properly rated. We're we're, we're gauging him as an NBA superstar, yeah. the highest caliber. What? No. And I I, I don't think anybody else. I think he. I as, think at least a second tier. I think he's a star, not a superstar. He's probably a top fifteen player. Mm. Top fifteen, top twenty. Top twenty for I sure. I think twenty, for top 20, twenty for sure. For sure. Uh, then Maybe uh, top fifteen. Are we, are we putting it in the top twenty? Then yeah, I say he's properly. Rated. I think he's properly. Rated. We c- we can't look. I was mad about Game Seven, but we can't let one. I know it's exactly. Game Seven, but we can't let one game forget everything he's done so far. Exactly, because he has done a lot of shit. Last year in the finals, bro, he hooped. Last year in the finals, he was probably our best player because Jason Tatum didn't play good. Mm-hmm. So, what teams right now that are contenders would he be a number one on? Detroit. They're Con- not contenders. They're not contenders. Contenders. Oh, contenders? <laughs> you imbecile. <laughs> Um, I mean, hello darkness, my old friend. If, if Jalen Brown went to the Mavs right now, would he be number two or number three? Two, two over Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie, I don't know. Kyrie would have to go. We have to sign and trade. Yeah, sign and trade him back to Boston. Oh god, that wouldn't happen. No, it wouldn't. They wouldn't. I would him. like it to be honest. I would take that three team trade to for us to get uh, Jalen instead of Kyrie. I would do that. Y'all had to take D'Lo. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. We kind of got off on a tangent there. Jalen Brown. Hey, sandwich hey, man. Nic- Nicola holding up that trophy at the end. Oh, that'd be awesome. That'd be yeah, awesome. He needs to start adding to his trophy case. Uh, it's time. Uh, if y'all haven't watched it, check it out. Uh, that was 25. We had a milestone. So I just appreciate y'all being here, man. Love y'all on YouTube. Anything else y'all want to wrap up with? All that bush. All that. Boys. Yeah, just check out whatever. We finna come back with some more basketball content soon. Finals are gonna be amazing. Finals. NBA draft coming soon. Yeah, a lot of stuff coming up. Off season. Football gonna start picking up. So can't wait. Mm-hmm. Can't wait. And if you haven't seen the championship video, check it out. Haven't seen the semifinals video, check it out. Appreciate y'all, man. One more thing. If you ain't know, now you know. I ain't did it in a minute, but now you know. Dallas Mavericks suck. Thank you. And just like that, we out.